What's up everybody, Renfail here, back again with another Baldur's Gate 3 guide, and we are back playing on the Xbox Series X again, doing a new series of guides, now that we're playing on a new platform. I'm really excited to be playing on the Xbox, it was a long time coming, but we are here, and today I'm back on my High Elf Wizard, and we're going to be talking about changing spells on the fly. Now if you've played the game before, you probably know this, but if you're a new player, that's what this guide is designed for, because every spellcaster in your group can actually change things out in between combat scenarios. So here we're in the Druid's Grove in the early sections of the game, and I could go through any of my characters that use spells, and we could change them out. So the easiest way to do that is just on your controller, you're going to be hitting the right trigger button, like so, and that's going to bring up this menu, and the one you're looking for is where it says Spellbook. And once you're in the spell book, what you're looking for is this up here where it says prepare spells. So you're going to be hitting the X button to open that menu up. So we're going to do so. Now it's going to show you prepared spells versus known spells. And what you're looking for is the prepared spells slots. So those are the spells that you actively have memorized. Now previous iterations of Baldur of not Baldur's Gate, but previous iterations of Dungeons and Dragons, I should say, you couldn't change things out like that. Out like this. You had to have you know you had to change them out, then do a rest. And that's not the case here. You can actually change them out on the fly as long as you have available spell slots to cast, then you can use anything in your prepared slots inventory section. Hot bar. You know what I mean. Anyway, so we're going to go up here and we're going to take any of the ones we don't want and we can just click on it. So we could say, I don't want that. We're going to hit the A button to remove that spell. Now you're going to notice it says I only have five of six prepared, so I need to add something else to that. Now, level two spells are currently grayed out because I'm not high enough level to cast level two spells yet. As you progress in levels, anything that you can't cast yet because it's too high will be grayed out like this. But in this case, we have access to all of my level 1 spells. And the ones that um, have a check mark are the ones that I already have um, memorized or prepared. And the ones that I don't literally will tell you, spell is not prepared if you hover over it. So let's just go over here and pick... Um, Let's pick uh, Ice Knife. Hit the A button to prepare the spell, and it has now moved it up into the prepared spells slot. Now we can do that with any character, so if I want to back out of here and hit the LT button, drop it down one, pick Shadowheart, we're going to go in, it's the same exact menu, we're going to say prepared spells, we can go in here and say, okay, I want to change out uh, Shield of Faith and put, I don't know, anything else, uh, protection from good and evil, boom it's there. Once you're done, you just click back, it's automatically saved. Now, if you go to a character who doesn't have it, like Lazale, um, all you see is her fighter axe, because she doesn't have anything. But what about what about Asterion? Now, I've got Asterion um, set up as a multi-class, so to speak. Not multi-class, sorry, uh, an arcane trickster rogue. I forget the terminology sometimes. Um, Notice I can't change his spells out, and the reason is because he's not a primary spell caster. So this only works if you're going to be talking about, um, you know, like a cleric or a wizard or a sorcerer or somebody who is a dedicated spell caster. He's not. He's a rogue who is not a spell caster. He just happens to have that arcane trickster um, in the background, which means he has a couple of spells that hits us. So excuse me, at his disposal, so it's a little bit different. So remember, this only works for pure casters like clerics, sorcerers, wizards, and so on and so forth. Um, you can come in here and um, prepare spells. And don't forget if you want to learn more about how to learn more spells on wizards and so on and so forth. There's another guide for that as well. So that's the Baldur's Gate 3 quick tip of the day today for the uh, Xbox. So for those of you who are playing on the Xbox, hopefully you're enjoying. If you liked this guide, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams at 5.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central. YouTube and Twitch because we're multi-streaming these days. Lots of other games get played. Check out the playlist. Join the Discord. I'll see everybody in the next video or live stream. Till then, stay safe. Happy gaming, everybody.